The invasion failed. I die within five minutes of landing on that beach, along with every other soldier. We lose everything. Now I live the same day over and over. It takes place in the future, and it's an extraordinary adventure. This is an alien invasion and a global war. It's got a post-apocalypse feel to it, but people are surviving. The entire might of the UDF are leaving pressure on the Eastern Front, allowing the Russians and Chinese to push the enemy back. Probably the biggest challenge of making the film was that the soldiers wore these exosuits, these one-man tanks. The exosuit makes it look effortless. And we can run and jump and smash and fight. I did not want to do a CGI suit for the film. I wanted to feel real to the audience. The suit itself weighed 85, 90 pounds, and depending on the armament, anywhere from 120 to 125 pounds. These exosuits were designed by Pierre Bohanna, who worked on the Harry Potter films, and he designed the Batman suits. The first thing I did was to really figure out the practical aspect of the suit, the engineering of the suit. The exosuit itself is very detailed. The kind of weapons that it carries are just fun, cool. Essentially, the, the exosuits are weapon-carrying systems. So on the grunts, you have a machine gun on one arm, and then on the other arm, you have three grenade launchers. Rita has a proper angel wing system. These articulated arms come off from her pack and two rail guns put on a target finding system. And then Tom eventually has one of those with a different rail gun system and a large sniper rifle. I showed up a couple of months early to R&D the suit. The first time Tom put it on, it was pretty much what he ended up filming in. Tom and the actors really had to start working out to physically be strong enough to wear one of these suits all day. I don't think anything quite prepares you for the sheer weight of the suit. And that first day was a bit overwhelming. When Tom turned up, he wouldn't take the suit off for like six hours a day. I had to develop with Doug and the stunt team the progression of the movement and what is physically possible with the suit. We realized we could do every stunt in the suit. Action! When I went and had a look at the monsters that first day, it was just a fantastic way to start. It looked so good. It's real. It's not generated in a computer with Tom really wearing that suit or Emily Blunt really wearing the suit. It's practical in-camera action. That was the demand on it. Everyone enjoyed the grueling aspects of that suit. And then you get used to it, and I now really love stomping around in the suit. It was exciting to be this lethal powerhouse. I'm not a soldier. Of course you're not. You're a weapon. 